Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to scrape unlimited LinkedIn profiles from Google search results. Google provides special search operators to help narrow down your search results. For instance, when you use site linkedin.com slash in in your search query, it will display the LinkedIn profiles under this domain. You can refine your search to specific job titles, such as chief marketing officer, by using parentheses and double quotes in your query. This will display LinkedIn profiles with the chief marketing officer title. By including a country, such as United States, in your search query, you can further refine your results to exclusively display profiles from that specific country. We will add the collected profile data to our Google spreadsheet. So create a new spreadsheet before you start building your flow. Let's start by adding an inject node to our flow. Rename it to start. We will use two packages in this flow. So if they are not installed, install them from the packages dialog. First, find the SERP package, right click and install. We also need the Google spreadsheet package, right click and then install. Now, under the SERP package, drag and drop the search node and connect it to the inject node. Here in the search node properties for the search term field, Copy and paste the search term from our Google search result from the previous tab. You can select the country code and the language code. You don't need a proxy by default, but if you start scraping and continue from your own IP, Google will start returning errors after a certain number of requests. So you need a proxy to scrape more results. You can use your own proxy by entering the host information, authentication details, and your credentials. If authentication is required, first enter credentials into a vault. Or you can just select RoboMotion proxy. You can enter how many profiles to scrape from the search results. Let's write 50. Select follow next page. Additionally, the output should be returned in a table format to be used as an input for the set range node. After that, add an open spreadsheet node. For the spreadsheet node, add the URL here. For the open spreadsheet credentials, select the vault that contains your service account key. After selecting the vault, proceed to choose the item that holds your service account key, named Google Sheets Service Account. If you need guidance on how to create a service account and how to add it to your vault, refer to the YouTube description below the video for the links. Finally, it is essential to share our Google spreadsheet with the email address associated with our service account and assign it the editor role. The service account will now be able to modify this sheet with the given editor role. Now we are almost ready to run. Finally, add a set range node to the flow. Make sure you add the set range node from the Google Sheets package. If the input name given is message.table to the set range node, then we need to modify the output name of the search node that returns the table result. So let's change the output name to table. Additionally, let's ensure to select the headers option here. And we can add a stop node here. Now let's run it and switch to our spreadsheet. As you can see, our results are scraped. The title here is returned from the SERP package and it is the Google search result title, not the job title. We also have the descriptions from the results and here is our LinkedIn profile links. You can use them later for enrichment. Thank you for watching.